Hi students, this is Vokumar. 11th Standard Mathematics, Chapter Number 2, Exercise 2.5. Problem Number 1. Solve the inequality 2x squared plus x minus 15, which is less than or equal to 0. This quadratic expression to be factorized 2 into minus 15, that is minus 30 and the coefficient of x is 1. So the two numbers product of the two numbers equals minus 30 and sum of the same two numbers that is 1. The two numbers are 6 and minus 5. 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1. 6 into minus 5 that is equal to minus 30. For getting the factors consider the coefficient of x squared that is 2 write in numerator of each and every number 2 into the variable x into x we can simplify by 2 table 1 time and 3 times the factors are 1 into x x plus 3 and 2 into x 2x minus 5 if you multiply these two factors you'll be getting this expression quadratic expression less than or equal to 0 now consider x plus 3 as 0, find the value of x. If x plus 3 that is equal to 0, x that is equal to minus 3, plus 3 comes right hand side, minus 3. And next one 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5 that is equal to 0, which implies 2x that is equal to 5, x that is equal to 5 by 2, 5 by 2 that is equal to 2.5. Now, we draw a real line starting when minus infinity ending one is plus infinity. We have uh, two numbers one is minus 3 and another one 2.5 minus 3 and followed by 2.5 because minus 3 is less and uh, 2.5 is greater number when comparing these two numbers. This is the smallest one and highest one. Now, these two numbers minus 3 and 2.5 divide the real line into three intervals. First interval, second interval and third interval. Okay. Now, we have to draw a table. Here is the table, four columns. First column, write that interval second column write this expression x plus 3 third column 2x minus 5 x plus 3 2x minus 5 and the last one if you multiply these two will be getting this expression let it be in the last column 2x squared plus x minus 15 2x squared plus x minus 15 you write sign off sign off and sign off okay interval we know the intervals minus infinity comma minus 3 first interval and second interval and third interval first one is minus infinity minus 3 second interval minus 3 comma 2.5 and third interval is a 2.5 comma infinity in each in interval each and every interval you have to consider one number i take uh, minus 4 any uncountable numbers are there i take only one number that is minus 4 minus 3 to 2.5 uncountable numbers are there you take any one number I take uh, 1 definitely 1 will be there after 1 only beginning 2.5 and all then 2.5 to infinity any one number I consider 3 after 2.5 definitely 3 will be there okay you can take any number in between each and every interval I have taken minus 4 1 and 3 now take minus 4 first substitute x equals minus 4 if you substitute x equals minus 4 over here, 
minus 4 plus 3 that is equal to minus 1. You no need to write that minus 1. You have to write the sign only. Minus 1 that is a negative. Here also you have to replace x by minus 4. 2 into minus 4 minus 8 minus 5 that is equal to minus 13 that is also negative. Then if we multiply these two will be getting this expression correct. So multi minus into minus plus that is a positive. Positive means what it is greater than 0. Okay. Now next one I have taken 1. Substitute x equals 1 in this interval. I have taken 1, 1 plus 3 that is 4, 4 that is positive. Here also I have to replace x by 1, 2, 1 are 2 minus 5 that is equal to minus 3 that is negative. In the last interval I have taken 3, replace x by 3. If you replace x by 3, 3 plus 3 that is equal to 6 that is positive. If you replace x by 3, 2, 3 are 6, 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1 that is also positive. Positive into negative, positive into negative that is equal to negative, positive into positive that is positive. Positive means greater than 0, negative that is less than 0 and positive which is greater than 0. What implies? Okay. Now, the question, look at the question, what, what's the symbol here? Less than or equal to, less than or equal to, here we have less than 0, right? I have to write the result the given inequality the given inequality is satisfied in the interval here here only we are getting less than 0 because you are less than or equal to 0 here less than 0 for getting equal to 0 both minus 3 and 2.5 to be included that is minus 3 comma 2.5 including two numbers minus 3 and 2.5 look at the brackets if you put left closed and right closed here left to open right to open but you have to mention that left close right close because what is given here less than or equal to zero so problem number one is completed i'll be teaching problem number two in the next video thank you children